hi, hello, hola, buenos dias, and welcome to my channel. My name is Maya. I am a full-time student at ASU studying for my bachelor's in creative writing, a full-time employee at Amazon in, in the corporate sector. I also do DoorDash delivery driving as a part-time job and content creation as sort of a side hustle passion project. And I create YouTube videos to just have sanity and also give myself a justification to take time out of my day to actually, I don't know, have hobbies. I do post videos every single Tuesday and Thursday, so if you want to subscribe for more college and lifestyle content, feel free to do so down below. Today, I am going to bring you guys along for a day in my life because exams have just finished, so I have finished out my Mars fiction class. I am going into the second half of my workshop fiction class and I have just started Spanish 102 or more accurately SPA 102 and my content strategy course. So fun things are happening. Today is my technically first day of class. Just going over the syllabi, getting all of the platforms together and setting myself up for success there and also just reading all of the expectations that are required of me for this course. I also got my final grades back from my actual exam. I'm legitimately stressed. Oh, my stars. Ah! Oh, I am so happy. Full transparency, I am really okay with that score. I spent so much time on the note cards and trying to just write the dang thing. That's crazy. That's amazing. I got an A. I, I said I was shooting for a B. <laughs> Did I not? <laughs> Gotta be plus look at this freaking schedule I can't um I I mean I have to but I can't like look at all of that what this is what you guys are looking at is my class schedule for these upcoming months and I don't know how I'm feeling about this Just oh wait, these are finals. Are these finals? They look like finals. I have a lot due on Sundays. That's in, that's actually insane. It's yeah okay. So all of the assignments are for Spanish are due Tuesdays, Thursdays, Sundays. I do remember that. Kill me now because that's. That's okay. That's okay. We we got we're I I planned for this. We're ready. <laughs> All right, be my sleep for the next two months. It's fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. Whoa, wait, hold up. Why is that Wednesday? Excuse me, ma'am. Excuse me, ma'am. Why is that Wednesday? And then for the other class, it looks like it's Thursday, Friday. Kill me now. Oh, my book. My book came in. Uno momentito, por favor. Got the goods. Little stressed. I have had just like two sips of coffee. So a little stressed. Little stressed. But we're going to get through it and we're going to be just fine. My hair was really bugging me, so let me like, let me try and make some kind of effort with the, oh, that looks terrible. I like that better? Do I like that better? I don't know if I like that better. I mean, it looks like a lot of stuff is happening, but these are just like certain things within the assignments, and I know if I do a little bit each day, it's gonna be fine and it's gonna be great and I don't need to stress, but it just looks a lot right now and I need it to not look a lot so that I can 
not focus on that and focus on what I'm actually supposed to be doing, which is getting life sorted, getting back into routine after a week off and being sick and the K-pop event, like all of all of everything. Okay, now we're gonna settle. And also adding in now a consistent YouTube schedule. I think that's what's throwing me off a little bit and it's not hard. I'm just overthinking it. Like, yes, okay, there's a workload there. You knew that. So how are you going to proceed from here in a healthy way? So you guys are kind of going to come along with me on my journey of trying to find a healthy work-life content balance. And uh, I hope you all are here for it. If y'all are, hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell so you can be notified every time I post new videos. I also am on social media. I am on Instagram. I am on TikTok. Feel free to follow me there on both. You get more real-time content on both platforms and different content on each, by the way. So, I mean, there's a lot of similar content, but there's also like different content as well. All of that will be linked in the description box down below. Let's get started on the day. planning I also called my bank so that I can figure out the ticket things they told me I will be able to purchase those tickets in two hours after the call since they had to do all the paperwork and everything like that we're gonna get some coffee and then I need to like get all of the e things together let me write a list sort all of my class things check announcements and secure dates because a lot of the like zoom meetings or the lingro learning meetings like the lingua meetings with our uh, designated <laughs> tutors but like TAs who actually know how to speak Spanish we interact with them like we have our virtual sessions where we have our entire class and then we go into breakout rooms we also have a Spanish speaker as well who is there to help us with any questions that we may have particularly on the lessons to give us extra practice time and those meetings typically have three people or less so I want to secure my dates for those meetings because you can say which day of the week works best for you and I typically tend to like keep it same day of the week unless like there's an outlier week. That is going to be it. So I'm going to do that. I'm probably going to like take a break and edit video. I definitely need to do that. I need to post my uh, branded content. I need to shower today at some point because I want to feel like a human being and just clean off the sickness finally. I think I'm finally over like the hump. I'm just gonna see if the shower can wipe off all the sickness. Probably have a lie down. When I wake up, complete and total dedication to as much studying as I can. I'll have a cutoff point at like maybe dinner time and after dinner, no more studying, just editing. And even though that's like not as much as I could probably do, I don't want to just like oversaturate every single day with just like everything because then I'll get overwhelmed very easily. I'd much rather just like, instead of planning everything to happen, just doing it and seeing what I can accomplish throughout and then just making little changes in decisions based off of that so I can maximize my time, 
not only for school, but also for just sanity. We'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. Love this for me. And we will get on it. platforms and everything. I still have one more that I need to do for my Spanish class and then I'm just gonna look over the syllabus for my content strategy course because I already did all of the quizzes necessary. All I have left to do is to record record a stupid introduction and normally I'm okay with introduction but it's the fact that I have to record it. Anyway, I unconsciously maybe have done like a lot of homework that I did not need to do necessarily today, but I will take it because it'll just take less stress with checking things off the list. Not, not of like my list, but of the school's list. And that is much more extensive, I feel like. And I already have my grades. Okay, look, look, let me show you. Totally not gonna last for this entire semester. And it's not because I don't have the utmost confidence in myself. It is because I know, realistically, I am not good in this language. I am learning how to acquire habits that'll allow the language to stick. And I'm still full on immersing myself in Spanish ministry. I have Duolingo on my phone. I've been, you know, I've been keeping up with that. Like, maybe not consistently, maybe not enough for streaks, but it's kind of like, it's not about the streaks. It's about what do you learn while doing it? Because honestly, you can have like a million day streak, but if nothing is sticking in the brain, then is it really helping? I know I'm not going to get a hundreds on my Spanish courses. I know that because I'm not a perfect Spanish speaker. I'm also not a perfect memorizer. A lot has gone on in my brain and just my chemical. I have a lot of chemical imbalances, a lot of physical things that are going on with me and only recently have really been able to say that the, for lack of a better, mental picture, the brain fog has gone. I'm being realistic. I am not looking to get a grade anymore. Nowadays, I don't care about that. I care about what classes am I doing and are they going to help me in the long run for everything that I am hopefully gonna be set up for. I don't know what I'm being set up for, but I know that I'm supposed to be taking Spanish that I'm supposed to be immersing myself in the culture and with people who know how to speak it. Why? I don't freaking know. I hope I know, but like, either way I'm good. But regardless, video intros, that's where we were at. So I need to do that at some point, not now. And then I'm gonna go to my content strategy course, look at the syllabus, read that, and then I am going to cut off, post my TikTok, post my Instagram story, and um, figure out what I'm gonna do for lunch, and then we'll go from there, but let's do this.
entirely forgot. I don't know how I forgot this. Frick. I need to get my Stray Kids tickets. So, we're going to get some Stray Kids tickets. When I called my bank earlier today, they did say that it was only going to take two hours, so this should, this should go through. Actual heck. Oh. Are you kidding me?